All right, guys, so I've been struggling and trying to do multiple takes with this video and trying to get the point across. And I hope that, listen, before you, you know, comment or whatever, you know, you do, I hope you kids and adults too, just please watch the video first before you do anything. Like, just just do that for me this time, please. Like, just wait till you see what the actual point of this video is before you leave your comment down below or make your mind up about the video without actually even watching the video. I'd really much appreciate that. So last night, I'm sure you all know about the crazy stuff that went down in New Zealand. And before all that crazy stuff went down in New Zealand, the kid, the guy, the man, whatever said, subscribe to PewDiePie. And last night I was thinking like, thank God, like God, now that that subscribe to PewDiePie thing is totally just ruined and we don't have to deal with that anymore because, you know, I've been kind of forthright and honest about my opinions on that. And I'm a grown adult. So the kids, you know, you're all going to really like it and love the PewDiePie, subscribe to PewDiePie thing. And I get that. And oh yeah, I've got to fight T-Series and that's fine, right? So my opinion as an adult might be different than yours. And uh, I think it's stupid and, you know, whatever. And after last night, I was like, cool, this whole stupid meme thing we put to rest is getting annoying. And I was like, yay. But then this morning, I was thinking about it more and I was like, you know what? No, man, no, we don't need to put it to rest because this could be a lesson. I mean, this guy who did this wrote a manifesto. And the reason why he did this apparently was because he wanted to create it more divisiveness and, you know, a civil war, as he said, in America. And, you know, people are going to use their political ideologies and their whole agendas to use this situation to their own advantage. And you already got people coming out and hating on PewDiePie and trying to blame him for it. Like if it's his fault that some psycho said subscribe to PewDiePie and trying to push their agenda and hate against PewDiePie. And also at the same time, this isn't a pity party for PewDiePie. Like, it, you know, I, I don't feel sorry for him. The fact that someone used his name, I mean, it sucks. It makes him look bad. You know, he's got attention for the whole wrong reason. But that's the point of this video, and I want you to stay with me. I mean, the real actual, you know, sympathy should be with the families. That's not the point of this video, I mean, just saying. But the real sympathy should be with the families and the victims, and PewDiePie is going to be fine. That's not the point of this video. Once again, please keep with me, kids. Listen. The point is that now more than ever, we should be saying subscribe to PewDiePie because you can't let someone else's actions and behavior and what he wanted to do was exactly what is happening. People are, you know, in the news and the media, big surprise, you know, and people online trying to use this situation to push their own hatred towards certain things and using it as, you know, a stepping stone to stand on and point their, you know, hatred towards those people and use it as a weapon. And the subscribe to PewDiePie thing should be a symbol for us, like a little small community on YouTube as like, hey, no, we're not going to let that happen. We're not. I mean, like I said, this whole subscribe to PewDiePie thing was stupid. And last night I was thinking like, thank God is dead. But this morning, like, you know, I had a change of mind. I figured like this could be a symbol for us, for people who aren't going to let this stupid situation do exactly what he wanted it to do, which was, like I said, divide people, divisiveness, uh, you know, push people's political agendas, cause, as he said, a civil war in America, which is not going to do. I mean, you can't blame somebody with 250, you know, million, zillion subscribers. Uh, they're actions against the guy who makes the YouTube videos. I mean, that's just stupid. He's got 80 million subscribers. Obviously, out of the 80 million subscribers, you're going to have crazy people in the world, you know, crazy people in my channel, for example. I got 250,000 subscribers. I guarantee you, just going by the odds, I got some nutcases, crazy, psychotic, mentally ill, deranged people who maybe have done horrible things who watch my videos. And I'm, I'm not responsible for that. I just make the videos. And PewDiePie, too, as well, has never made videos that would, you know, be deemed as hate or anything like that. But people are trying to use this situation. Like, oh, yeah, the guys that subscribe to PewDiePie it's his fault and once again it's not a pity party for PewDiePie that's not the point like I said it's uh you know the victims are the you know the real people in New Zealand who were you know obviously affected by this whether it was directly or indirectly through family or whatnot and just the country New Zealand is pretty crazy I mean I used to live there by the way it's not exactly a real violent gun toting you know public execution style kind of city it's uh you know it's pretty laid back country so, you know, let's just make that keep that clear as well. Like, they're the victims. But the symbol of subscribe to PewDiePie can be more. It can be transformative. It can be a beacon, sort of like the Batman sign up there. Like, you know what? No. As dumb as I thought it was, now, more than ever, we must stay strong with that and keep the subscribe to PewDiePie and stand sort of as solidarity as a symbol of, like, you know, anti-hate anti-divisiveness, anti-mob mentality, anti-people trying to push an agenda and using situations to their own advantage, you know, because people are just dickheads, man. And do not let this situation define PewDiePie 
or let it stand for something more than it is when it's not. Like the fact that he said that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all. He could have been like, you know, all praises be Allah. So like if you're religious and some guy goes and blows himself down and says all praises be Allah, which is like praise to God. So I guess God's to blame for that. Is that the uh, mentality of that? You know I mean? Like honestly, God said a lot worse things in the Bibles than any freaking YouTuber has ever said that, you know, caused damage and pain and all that stuff. So the point is, is like, let's not let this dickhead, you know, and people in the media and people in general pushing agenda so people now more than ever we need to keep the subscribe to pewdiepie going and that's the hope i made my point across i was struggling with how to say this and i hope i made my points clear but condolences and uh you know sympathy and empathy towards those people in new zealand affected by this directly and indirectly and uh screw that guy and make sure to keep the subscribe to pewdiepie whole thing going that's pretty much it so i'm not gonna do my outro I'm trying to keep the video serious so i'm just gonna end it with that and uh thanks very much for watching everybody um bye